Hi, my name is Jayla English. I'm a senior at Renaissance High School and a student scientist in Ecotech Labs. My career goes to be a dermatologist. Today, I will be explaining what UV light is and its effects on the skin. I will then be demonstrating how organic compounds found in beets and carrots will reduce ultraviolet exposure on the skin. Here are some interesting facts about the skin. The skin is the largest organ of the body. It contains three main layers, the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. The epidermis is the outermost layer. It protects us from the elements. The dermis contains hair follicles, blood vessels, and sweat glands. The hypodermis helps us regulate body temperature. Here I have carrots and beet powder, both of which contain beta carotene. Beta carotene is a red-orange pigment found in fruits and vegetables. The chemical makeup is C40H56. Carrots contain 8,285 micrograms of beta carotene. On the other hand, beet powder contains 34 micrograms. Here I am placing the carrots on a food dehydrator. A food dehydrator will remove its water contents and any bacteria. Here are the carrots once they are dehydrated. Here's the result of the carrot powder. Using a mortar and pestle, I am making a beet powder solution. The solute being the beet powder and the solvent being water. Now I am going to do an experiment demonstrating the UV protecting properties found in beets. Here is my beet powder solution. The solute is the beets and the solvent is water. Here I have a UV paper labeled beet powder solution and another paper labeled control. I will spray my beet powder solution on the beet powder solution UV paper and the control will be treated with nothing and left under sunlight. Here I am taking the bee powder solution UV paper and the control UV paper and placing them both under sunlight. Here are the results. As you can see, the bee powder solution is a good UV protectant. On the other hand, the control, which was initially a blue paper, has almost turned completely white. What happened was molecules in the paper interacted to form a new molecule. This was initiated by the wavelengths of the ultraviolet light that came from the sun. The colorless compound is caused by the sun's energy. The sun's light simulated a chemical change, which turned the paper white. We can compare both of these UV papers to the human skin. The beet powder solution shows that it would be a good UV protectant. On the other hand, the control represents UV rays reaching the inner skin layers. This results in sunburn and can cause skin cells to die, damage, or develop cancer. Doing this experiment has increased my knowledge on UV light and how it is measured, the layers of the skin, and concentration of beta carotene found in vegetables. My time at Ecotech Lab has increased my worth ethic and exposed me to other careers in the STEM field.